are you saying, Mr. Pork? It's a 3D printer, I know it's so cool. Look at this. This is the Creality CR10 Mini. It's the smallest printer in the CR10 lineup. It has a build volume of 300 by 220 by 300 millimeters. It is smaller than the CR10's build volume, which is 300 by 300 by 300, but I think that is still enough to basically print anything that this CR10 can print. This is the test print, which was a cat, and as you can see, it has a lot of good detail. You can barely see the print lines, and um, overall, the the engraved writing on it is really, really well defined, and I think turned out really well. This printer, like all of Creality's other printers, runs Creality's version of the Marlin software. It's easy to navigate, and you print via USB cable or SD card. It uses a micro SD card, so you'll have to use either a USB adapter or a full-size adapter. Creality recommends that you use um, Kira, which is Ultimaker's free slicing software, and you can change things like the infill and the layer height, and all sorts of other experimental settings. Here's one print that I did. It was an upgrade for the printer. It was a filament guide, which clamps on right to the um, extruder assembly, and it printed really well. Um, I printed at 100% infill just because I would have it on the printer itself for a while. And it came out really well. As you can see, you can barely see the layer lines. It's actually a really good quality print. Uh, I had the layer height a bit low, so that's not what I've been using on all of my other prints. But um, it turned out really good. And as you can see, this part just slips on right on the extruder assembly. Real simple. The filament just slips into that little notch, and you are all set. So overall, I'm really impressed with this 3D printer. Um, it's the littlest of the CR10 series, but this I can pretty much print anything I want. Um, I printed a whole blaster pistol. Obviously it wasn't in one part, but the way it was sliced I could uh, print all of them. Um, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, once I do all my modifications, going to add a Capricorn tube right here. Uh, I'm going to add a bunch of 3D printed pieces. That's what that is right there actually. That's going to be a Z a Z knob for the screw up here. Um, but I'm really happy with this. And I hope this uh, helps us with a lot of projects on the channel.